Hey everybody, Hi Flyers Tag Team back with a new video again today. On today's video, we will be discussing and reviewing the brand new Playmates Mega Kong, as you guys can see right here. Uh, big bulky figure, just like the Mega Godzilla from the other day. Uh, you guys can see Mega Punching Kong um, with lights and sound there at the bottom. Um, do a little bit of a rotation here here's the back of the box right there nothing you guys haven't seen before I'm sure but yeah so he is here let's go on ahead everyone and get him out of the box shall we Alright everyone, so here he is out of the box, as you guys can see, massive figure, very heavy, big in hand. You can see right here the screw area for the batteries, and you can see that they actually covered up the screw holes. I love the brown on this guy, by the way. But yeah guys, here he is, Mega Kong. Um, he does come with two accessories, he comes with this soldier. If the camera would focus. Hold on. Anyways, he comes with a soldier. It might... It's not picking up. And he comes with his battle axe, which we will put in his hand later. But for the figure for now, let's look over its articulation. So its head can rotate... 360 its jaw can surprisingly open and close which is rare for Kong figures um, its arm it fights you but its arms can go up and down like that and they can also rotate 360 so there you go right here at the elbow they can rotate 360 and they can go up and down um, the wrist can rotate 360 the the at, it's, I'm surprised at the legs it does not rotate that's one of the places it doesn't have rotation which is very interesting uh, but the ankles can also rotate 360 and it can move at the waist both ways but that's for the gimmick and it doesn't really like stay there so yeah guys he has a lot of articulation for a big fella like himself. So, uh, for some of his gimmick stuff, on the back here there's a button that you can click and make him roar. And when you do that, as you guys can see, his eyes light up, which is very cool. Um, and you guys can see right here on the chest, this is where the sounds come out of. Um, for his battle axe here, as I said before, you can you got to put some got to put some back into it, but uh, you can push it in. It's kind of a fight, just like with the six inch. But I would honestly, I honestly feel like it's kind of easier for some reason. Um, but yeah, you can get his axe in right there. So get him to hold on to that, and there he goes. He holds his battle axe. For his battle axe itself, I don't think it's as good as the six inches. I don't think it looks as accurate. I don't know why. I thought it would be better for like the Mega, since it's so much bigger. They'd be able to get that better. But for some reason, I don't know. For some reason, they just maybe they went with a concept design or something. I can't tell. But you can his whole gimmick too. You can make him turn like that, and he can spin around his opponent and roar. So, pretty cool stuff nonetheless. Very different from the Godzilla's gimmick where Godzilla like shoots a beam out of his mouth. Obviously, Kong can't do that. So, why would he? Why would he even have something like that? For some size comparisons, now I'm gonna back him up here, and we're gonna get out the Playmates Giant Kong. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this one. Um, as you guys should be able to see here. Um, the giant Kong kind of gets towered over pretty bad, uh, because the mega figures are much bigger than their giant counterparts for each of them. 
Uh, it's like the same height difference each time. So I'm sure Mega Mecha Godzilla will be massive since he's bigger than both Giant Kong and Giant um, Godzilla. Same with uh, the six inch lines too. Uh, for finally for this comparison as well, Mega Kong next to Mega Godzilla. And as you guys can see, head to head here. I'm gonna zoom up. Um, Kong is might be roughly taller um, due to his head, but Godzilla is much higher eye level, and you can get them to have a little bit of a roar off. And yeah, so that's the mega figures. So, yep, there you guys go. So, now that you guys have seen the mega figures out of the box and seen what they can do and stuff, what do you guys think of this line? Are you excited for the, the Mega Mecha Godzilla? Who do you prefer? What do you guys think of all this? Are you excited to get him? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed, as always, please share, subscribe. Hope everyone's a great day. And as always, peace out and bye bye.